Hi guys and welcome back. So I wasn't going to do this video but you lot have asked me for it. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking that dishwasher and fitting it into the non-existent gap over here. So basically what that means is I need to move that washing machine over and re remove this cupboard from under here. But it's not as easy as that because that's actually a thousand unit in there. So we're going to need to cut it down and make space for that. Um, now this is a genuine carpentry job that comes up quite a lot. This isn't quite how I would do it because this kitchen is eventually going to be ripped out so I'm just making good for now just so we've got a dishwasher that works for now. So I'm going to cut the cupboard. I might try and get a side back on the cupboard if I can but I don't know if I've got enough space in there too so we'll have to see what we're going to do because as it stands at the moment this gap is only about 450mm so I need to move this washing machine. So every gap counts so I might have to leave the side off of that unit but I'll see how we get on with that. So I've emptied the cupboard out already, I've got to empty out the top drawer because that's still got some stuff in it but yeah other than that we're just going to go for it so like I said it isn't normally how I'll do it, finish it but we just got to get a dishwasher working in here because washing up's getting very boring. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, we haven't got a lot of space in here at the minute from that post, because that post has got to stay, is at 520 mil. Now, obviously we need 600 for a dishwasher, 610 probably. Um, so what we need to do is move this washing machine over a bit, which means it is going to stick past the worktop at the end here, but I'm not too concerned about that. Because like I said, this is a, only temporary, this kitchen is going to be changed. So what we need to do is we need to remove this gable, probably leave the post in at the top that's not a causing an issue we need to cut this shelf down cut this base down support in underneath there and then do some plumbing so I've got a fair bit to do so let's get on with it let's cut that out Okay, so now we've got the back panel removed, the base removed, which we need to sort out. We've got that top brace removed. Problem I have found is that this um, main stopcock is sticking out of the wall 
five inches, which is obviously going to push our dishwasher forward quite a lot. So what I want to do is I just want to try and slacken these off and twist this round um, just to allow the dishwasher to go back a bit further. It's not going to go right the way back, but like I said, this is temporary for now, so it's not going to hurt anything if it's not right the way back, but at least that'll gain us another three inches if we do that. So not too bad. Let's get on with that. that was going to be a lot worse got a tiny bit of bead in the water there and a little spray but i think that overall that's pretty good and we can still operate that tap which is good and i'm surprised that's still working actually because that's an old tap and it doesn't feel like it's been turned off in a while okay so now we've got that tap turned around the next thing i want to address is this unit is sagging like this so i've actually got the bit of plinth that i cut from the front and i've cut that to send me the right length we're just going to bash that in just to support that bottom now if you don't have a bit of plinth that you can do it with <coughs> you can always put an adjustable leg in there but this kitchen so old it doesn't have adjustable legs so we're just going to tap that in and screw it in Okay, so the next job, now we've done that, is obviously we need another spigot to put the waste on. So this is the one that was there, that takes the washing machine, but obviously we need to put another one on. So what I'm going to do is cut into here, I'm going to put this T section in here, and then off of that we can put another spigot on there. So let's do that. Okay, so it's a bit tight in there for me to do it on film, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that T piece in, going from the bit we just cut, and then off of that, we're going to put this straight connector with that on the end of it, and that's going to give us our spigot. But it's a bit tight, I can't get the camera in there. So now all that plumbing's done under there, it's time to remove this because then we need to cut out for the inlet water. So we're going to get this out.
Okay, so one of our next and nearly final jobs, we're nearly there, is to add in another hose for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop that one behind there, in there, and move this one along a little bit, just to give us another appliance valve for in there. So we can cut that, but first of all, let's give this a little clean. Otherwise nothing's gonna connect on there very well. Now I will, when I come to do the kitchen, I will change all of this and cut out the stuff we don't need. And I'm probably gonna end up changing this as well to a lever valve, because I prefer them, they're a lot better. There we have it guys. Like I said, it doesn't fit br brilliantly, but ain't bad, is it? Considering, considering what we had. So at least we've got a functioning dishwasher now, and that will do the job until we come to replace the whole kitchen. Um, it's just a bit better than washing up, isn't it? So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of this stuff, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell. Follow along on the Eden Lodge renovation series and you'll be up to date with all the videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one. Cheers!